It's post time. On behalf of America's Best Racing, I'm Joe Christofak, and it's time to jockey for position. Let's set the record straight. This is horse racing, not jockey racing. Even the best rider on the planet cannot make a slow horse defeat a faster one. That being said, there is no braver athlete in all of professional sports than the jockey, and their split-second decisions can win or lose a race. Now, roughly 35% of races are won by a length or less. Jockeys can and do make a difference. With a vast array of skills, jockeys can put their equine partner in a better position to win. Here are three things you need to know about jockeys. First of all, the bottom line. Unlike other professional sports, to be a jockey, you don't have to be elite. You just have to be roughly 120 pounds, and you got to earn your jockey's license. Men and women compete against one another on the racetrack, and age ranges from 16 upwards of 60. Some attend jockey school. Others become exercise riders first and uh, kind of learn their way on the backstretch, getting some experience before applying for their jockey's license. Jockeys begin their career as an apprentice. They are given a break in the weights for more than a year after they accept their first mount. It kind of equals the playing field with the older, more experienced journeyman riders. There are roughly 1,500 licensed jockeys in the United States, and about 25 to 30 will ride at a racetrack at any given meet. Some compete basically every race, and some only ride a couple of horses a day. Point number two, skills pay the bills. Now, depending on the purse level, jockeys are paid per mount. Every time they ride a horse, they make between 30 and 100 bucks, depending on the purse structure of the racetrack. Now, they also get 10% of the owner's share of the whim, and 5% if they run second or third. The most successful jockeys, well, they can make about a million bucks a year. The least successful ones, well, 20000 a year is about their ceiling. Virtually every jockey has an agent, a person who books their mounts, they handle their riding assignments, they have a condition book, they have relationships with the trainers and the owners, trying to acquire the best possible mount for every race. Jockey agents make about 20 to 30 percent of what the rider makes. Jockeys also pay a per mount fee to their valet, the person who takes care of their equipment. And uh, remember, jockeys are private contractors. Their uh, health insurance bills, they're not pretty. So jockeys have a lot of expenses with the, uh, the earnings that they do have. So, you know, they've got a lot of different people that they've got to pay across the board. Now, in order to win races, jockeys have to have a live horse but they also have to possess certain skills, some of those, being able to handicap their horse and the other horses in the race, being able to judge pace, having a clock in their head, so to speak, having the willingness to take a chance, go in tight between horses when uh, it's called for, the ability to whip with both hands, rhythm and flow on a horseback, soft hands, a connection with the horse, and the strength and stamina to finish in the stretch run. Now, what about the handicapping angles? Point number three, a good jockey will win about 15% of the time, hit the board about 40% of the time. Pay attention to jockey stats. Are they good in sprints, routes, turf, with two-year-olds? What is their win percentage and return on investment with particular trainers that are riding them? High percentage of riders usually attract the race favorites, but sometimes it's those middle-of-the-pack 12% jockeys with the higher odds that when they win, the return on investment is a lot higher. So if you're betting the leading rider at a track, you're probably taking a lower price than maybe you would want. So don't be afraid to take a legitimate jockey on a square-priced horse. Remember, you have to have the best horse to win, at least in most cases. Ask yourself the question, why is the jockey riding this horse? Are they accepting this assignment because that's the best mount in the race that they could get? Or are they showing loyalty to a trainer that they ride for regularly? The previous rider of a race contender jumps ship and wind up on a different horse, something that you definitely want to pay attention to. Check out each horse and rider combination and figure out which rider may have landed in the right spot in this game of jockey musical saddles. Even if a jockey is on the right horse and they make all the right moves, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to win. Oftentimes, a little racing luck goes a long way. Remember, 
With knowledge comes horsepower. Live it. Love it. Play it. Share it. And bet on it at AmericasBestRacing.net.